Up until March of this year, Daniel suffered from debilitating tremors related to Parkinson's disease. It was very difficult for him to read the paper. Yes, very difficult. Because of the tremors, I had to lay down the paper. I commute to Bern for work, and it was no longer possible to read the paper in the train. Medication didn't help, so electrodes were planted in his brain, which stopped the tremors. There's a generator with a large battery on the muscle. So when I do this, it moves with the muscle. Then the cable goes along here, it's not a vein, it's the cable, which goes behind my ear and up here, where it connects to the two electrodes on each side. The procedure known as DBS, or deep brain stimulation, is used here at the University Hospital in Bern. The electrode implantation process is often completed using only local anesthesia, so patients remain awake and responsive. Two small holes are made in the skull. Then the electrodes are inserted, which send an artificial current to the middle of the brain. The idea is to stimulate a very small area in the depths of the brain in order to eliminate the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, tremors, rigidity, and bradykinesia, or slowness of movement. With this handset, I can unplug the electrodes and raise or lower the voltage. I don't feel anything, so I can exert myself, move about, and I don't feel a thing. So far, Daniel has not suffered any of the side effects often caused by this treatment. The electrodes used send the electric currents in every direction. We realized that when we use the present technology for DBS, we also stimulate the structures around the targeted spot, which causes side effects such as involuntary muscular contractions, speech difficulties, muscular weakness, tingling sensations, and the reduction of certain cognitive functions. So the surgeon's ability to deliver enough current to treat the illness was limited with the old system. Claudio Polo and his team of researchers at Bern University Hospital found that if they reduced the size of the electrodes and made them more directional, the results were better. It allows us to be more selective and to perform better with respect to the present targets. But it will also allow us to explore other areas of the brain that are more difficult to access with the present technology. We will even be able to open up areas of the brain that have not yet been explored. DBS is also used in the treatment of dystonia, epilepsy and obsessive compulsive disorder. But this is just the beginning. Hundreds of research manuscripts are published every year, so we may soon see electrodes being used to treat many more disorders of the brain. <laughs>